Let's talk about game capture on OBS Studio. What do you say? Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. And this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you want to learn everything there is to know about live streaming online, super simple, then click that subscribe button and turn that bell notification to on so you don't miss a single video. So what are we talking about in today's video? Pretty easy, Dale. We've had a lot of people ask questions and here's the thing. I know you and I say it's pretty easy, but the thing is, is you get kind of frustrated when you're trying to capture that game and you're trying to go live at that last second and your game is not showing up a stream or worse yet, you start streaming only to find out your viewers can't see the game. So I'm going to show you how to do it. This function is going to be somewhat similar to Streamlabs OBS. Um, and actually they added a new feature in there. Um, that uh, we'll talk about in a future video. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to do game capture. A lot of people are running into problems when streaming uh, that it's not capturing the game. I'll show you two ways. The first way, what we do is we have Overcooked 2 already open. Dale loves to play that game. So we're gonna go ahead and the easiest and first way that you should always try to do it, and I shouldn't say easiest because it's really not that easy, right? You're gonna do game capture. So you wanna make sure you click that plus button. It's gonna open that up and you can title it whatever. I leave it to game capture, hit okay. Now, the first thing I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to do capture any full screen application. Now, here's the problem. If you have other full screen applications going on, it's going to try to capture those. But first, always try that first. And since he has Overcooked 2 open on the other monitor, I'm gonna make sure that's opened up. And bam, there we go, right? Now you're probably wondering yourself, wait a minute, Walt. I don't see the audio on the audio mixer over here in OBS. So we're gonna go ahead and solve that. And with OBS Studio now, the newer version, you actually have to add that audio output capture. Not input, but output. And once again, you can, uh, it used to be called desktop in the older version. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name it desktop. Hit that. And as you see here, we're gonna go hit okay. And now I can adjust the music or the game sound by doing that. And here's the thing, when you're live streaming, you want your meter somewhere over here when you're talking and you want that game meter to be somewhere up towards the 50% range. You don't want it too loud because then you feels that you're over talking and a lot of people aren't gonna be able to hear you, especially if you're listening on a mobile device with a really crappy speaker. So that is one way to do it on game capture. I'm gonna show you another way. So go into options, for instance, say it's not doing the full screen application or you're like me and you have three monitors open, one live streaming versus Dale with only two. Uh, maybe he has another uh, full screen application open on the third monitor. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and right click and wanna to go to properties. Now what we can do is we can actually force it to look for specific window. So now it opens up this and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that second bar. We're gonna click window. Now we're looking for overcooked2.exe. So if you're playing, say, Fortnite, it's gonna be fortnite.exe, so on and so forth. And you're gonna go ahead and click that, hit okay, and boom, as long as you see it here. Now, uh, I've had some people in the comments where they're saying they can't see their game, but here's the thing, I don't see what's going on, on through their dashboard or on OBS. So here's the thing to remember about OBS. Things are layered, so if you have a template uh, upon template, upon this and that. And technically you kind of always want that game in the background, especially if you have a transparent uh, template that you're putting it over. But be careful if you're downloading a lot of these templates online and they say transparent PNG, they're not necessarily so. So just make sure that it's not being hidden over those layers. Now let's go ahead. I did say I was gonna show you two different ways. That was only one way. That's with the game capture. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove that. And the second way is actually display capture. So say you're using a two monitor setup or say you're gonna minimize OBS and then you have the game behind OBS uh, playing it. What you're gonna do is you are going to do display capture right there. We're gonna go ahead and name it display capture three so I don't overwrite anything of Dale's. Uh, the display, I like that 1920 by 1080. Go ahead and hit okay. Now we can see the display capture. Now you're probably wondering yourself, well, wait a minute while it's not capturing the game. That's because we have the game minimized. So now as soon as I pop it up, boom. But as you see here, where I'm recording this through Camtasia to record this video, that is seen also. So know this, that when you're doing display capture, wherever else you have open, now obviously we can minimize that and you wouldn't see it and then we'll look quick like that. But if you go to say do, the the stream 
and you have things that are always on top, programs that are always on top, it's gonna show on top of that game. Or say you minimize that game, all of a sudden everyone's gonna be able to see what's behind it. So kind of make sure that you don't have stuff that's not safe for work, open, um, uh, chats, that kind of stuff that you don't want other eyes seeing. Uh, but you know what you enjoy better? Is clicking this video right straight down over here. And what that's going to show you is what to stream on Twitch.